child support in the state of Tennessee. And we're fortunate to have to uh, talk about child support in the state of Tennessee, uh, Mr. James Watkins and Mr. Phil Hawkins, uh, both individuals who have quite a bit of information in reference to child support in the state of Tennessee. And of course, Mr. Watkins, let's uh, have you and uh, Mr. Hawkins to give us some information in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences. And then after this first segment is over, then we'll be able to get into the uh, second segment dealing with child support in Tennessee. First, let's give uh, you about two and a half or three minutes to uh, talk about your background, your education, and some of your experiences, and after which Mr. <coughs> excuse me, Hawkins will do the same. All right. Uh, my name is James Watkins. I'm a 44-year-old male. Mm -hmm. um, my background is I'm the president of the Dads Against Destruction. It's a program we try to help dads change, dads change their, uh, their lives around to making better choices and decisions uh, where they're going in life. Um, my background um, in education, I attended White Street Comprehensive High School. Uh, I left school in 1991. I left from there. I didn't graduate, but I did a few years later, wind up getting my GED. Then after I received my GED, I went on off to college um, in Flathead Valley Community, Community College. That's in Montana, my Montana, uh, Calispell, Montana. Mm -hmm. So um, that's my education, that's my, and then what I deal with uh, child support is, I've been dealing with child support for over 20 years. I have two adult kids, and the situation with that is, I, the way it's been explained to me is I'll be paying child support you know, the rest of my life due to the, the way the state has set things up to where that you're not just only paying child support, but you also pay in interest fees and back this and back that, and um, to where it just, I'm paying more to the state that I'm paying to the, uh, mm -hmm. and to the child support right now. And so in a real sense, what you're saying here, uh, Mr. Hawkins, Mr. Uh, Watkins, uh, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Watkins mm -hmm. is that uh, uh, the state of Tennessee has some issues dealing with uh, child support that the two of you, you and uh, Mr. Hawkins will be able to talk about. But yes. first, let's get some information from you, uh, Mr. Hawkins, Phil Hawkins, in reference to uh, your background, education, and what really brought you to us this morning. Okay, good evening. Like, <clears throat> thank you for us being here. I'm Phil Hawkins, the CEO of Dads Against Destruction. What brought us here is that it's time for us to stand up, man up, and get this out. You know, a lot of men don't even want to work no more these days. So we out here now trying to advocate for the men to get the men back in the household and get the system back. Right now the system trying to raise our kids and it can't happen like that. And so in a real sense, uh, let, let, let's, uh, since you've been involved with uh, child support uh, uh, in, in the state of Tennessee for quite a while, mm -hmm. let's give our audience some information in reference to what we mean in reality when we say child support in Tennessee, who has to pay it and how much you have to pay it and how long you have to pay it. Let's do it from that perspective. Um, the way it's set up, from my understanding, it's supposed to be for 18 years until your child turns 18 years old. Then it can go even further because of uh, they're going to college and stuff. I can understand all that, but you know, situations in life happen. Uh, man, job might slow down at different points of the season to where he's not able to make his whole payment, or he might lose a job, or you know, just things happen. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't stop uh, child support from running, and as it keeps running. Uh, if you miss, it's, it's like a, it's like a credit. If you miss a payment, if you don't, if you don't pay your whole full balance, they're gonna charge you a late fee. And this is what I, how I feel about it, because I'm paying, I'm paying late fees every day, every day all day long because of a, um, I'm just, I'm just might, might be slow on getting the payment, makes me slow at work and stuff, and I'm not even making a payment. But it's, it's just, a, it's just a system to where it's like it makes you feel like the state getting more out of it than the child is. Mm -hmm. And so, Mr. Hawkins, uh, uh, what we're saying uh, is that uh, when we talk about child support, we're not just talking about a simple kind of thing of oh, buying no. uh, uh, diapers and no, uh, baby food and et cetera for a certain time. But I think as, uh, as Mr. Watkins has indicated that he has been involved in it for more than 18, 20 odd years. And yeah. so, and, and, and so uh, what we're gonna do, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Hawkins is to uh, take this first commercial break. We've got about a half a minute. Okay. And when we come back, we want you to talk about child support in the state of Tennessee by defining what we mean okay. when we talk about child support and the impact 
that child support is having upon individuals. After you, after when we come back, you give us some, some statements in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences, and then we'll get into that part of it, and that will allow us to first get a definition. Right. Because I think a large number of folks, when they think about child support, generally think in terms of buying baby bottles and et cetera, and et cetera. Mm -hmm. But it seems mm -hmm. that we're talking about something that lasts 14, 15, yeah. uh, 20 years. And I yeah. think that that's a, a different situation. And so when we come back, uh, I feel what we'll do is to allow you to start us off. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. child support in Tennessee this is where you, you start because you're going to have four minutes okay. at least okay. before you turn it over to him okay. you listen to what he's saying mm -hmm. and anything that you think that you might be able to elaborate upon or mm -hmm. whatever or to expand it or whatever I'm learning something because I was of the impression that uh, child support you know uh, I, I know there might be some situations in oh, reference it's, to it, but I didn't know it was a, a lifelong it's, it's, kind of situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of, judge, the judge uh, told me, uh -huh. he said, you'll be paying child support the rest of your life. Uh -huh. One so, way or the other. Yeah. Is it's that a program, what he told you. The yeah, program so, where the man can't win. Uh -huh. uh, well, that's what, you know, if, if y'all see some problems with, with the issue of child support and et cetera, we're not talking about uh, something that uh, we're trying to neglect children or, or yeah, whatever, and et cetera. Right. But what we're trying to indicate is that it creates a problem for- A uh, big problem. I'm I'm out there trying to pass a, get a bill passed, a law passed, to give me in uh, 90 days. Okay. Oh, okay, so oh, oh, okay. anytime you're ready. Though. Okay, so we're going to come back and... Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. The topic is child support in Tennessee and we have with us to talk about child support in Tennessee, uh, Mr. James uh, Watkins. Watkins and uh, Mr. Phil Hawkins. And so Mr. Hawkins, let's see if we can get some information from you uh, because we were unable to get it the last time right. from you in reference to your background, your education, and some of your experiences that led you to us this morning, and then make some statements in reference to child support in Tennessee, and then we'll go move to uh, Mr. Watkins and al okay. allow him to sort of uh, finish this segment for the morning. Okay. Well, I came out of Glencliff High School, like my uh, <clears throat> buddy here, didn't graduate, went through the system to graduate, get GED, and just got, you know, going through life changes, ups and downs. But we also been in the child support system, like he said, 20, 30 years. Well, we can't win, you know, and it's time for us to take back our stand on it. We keep falling for everything. We got to stand for something. And this child support thing, it got to be, well, the average man these days don't even want to work a job. You know, mm -hmm. they take a half his check. The child at home don't get the money. The state taking all their money. And then you left with $100, $200 to feed for two or three kids. So that's what we man up. We taking, we taking them back our lives. Mm -hmm. We're addressing the issues now. It's time for us to you know, do what we need to do to get these fathers back home. Maybe we, we stop some of this gun violence, you know, because the father's not there, he can't raise his kids. Mm -hmm. But if you bring a father in, he can discipline his kids. The state can't do it by itself no more. Now, when we talk about child support, uh, and I think a large number of members of our audience might think in terms of supporting that child for a certain amount of years and et cetera. But what, what's your view in terms of child support, which is to say that you are paying for your child, yes, sir. but at the same time, there are some issues that, that you that you like to deal with. Yes, sir. Well, I found, well, I found out just the other day, I'm advocating child support every day. I just found out the other day, I was with uh, my kid's parents, my kid's mother, 24 years. And I just found out the other day, I, I'm 139,000 behind on child support payments. So where, how that system add up? I was with my kids every day of their life, each, all three of them, but I'm behind, I take care of my kids. You know, it's how the system is trying to portray us as not doing because we're not paying the system. Mm -hmm. But we keep paying the system. We can't pay. The, we can't feed the child. We got to have something for a man to live. And so you uh, are you still with your wife? No, sir. But, but, you, but, you're, still, but you're still paying for yes, to support your children every day. And you feel that uh, they are taking more money out of whatever salary you have. Yes, sir. 
uh, and mo some of that money does not go to the child. None of the money but, go back. But, mo but the money, in, in, for the most part, uh, goes to the state. Yes, sir. Well, what do you think about that, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Walker? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's true, as, um, as you just asked me, about going towards the child, it's true. I've had the mother me called me, asked me, uh, well, when, when is your job going to send the money? I said, what do you mean? It's coming out of my check. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they send it when they want to send it. And um, it causes conflict within the household. Mm -hmm. I've lost a house. I've lost, well, I lost my family. I've lost cars. I've lost jobs and everything. I've lost my freedom yeah. over, over child support. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it, it took a real, real big toll on me uh, mentally and emotionally mm -hmm. because, you know, I desire to be home with my kids. My, mm -hmm. kid, my kids are my everything. Mm -hmm. and, and to take me out of my home uh, because I, I fell behind on a bill, you know, that's like, come on, man, you, you're not just taking me out of home. What do you mean when you say to take you out of your home? How does that? Uh, when, you, when you take a person out of home, when you take a person's job from them, mm -hmm. what is that man going to do? He's going to wind up trying to figure out a way to go out here and get some money. Right. Because if you love your kids, you're going you're gonna to revert to anything that's in the means necessary to get the money to feed your kids mm -hmm. or do what you can do. So, yes, I've made some choices in life to where I started going towards the street life. Mm -hmm. Because of why? Because every time I, I turned around, I was getting, I was getting harassed. I was, if I wasn't, I was getting harassed by the, by the, uh, the judges to the point to where they was like, well, this is the, this is the state law. So is it state law then, okay, if I can't make this money, you taking all the money, my kids not getting paid, my life's getting cut off, this is happening. Well, I gotta hear them go out here and find another way to uh, get this money because not only am I hearing from you all, but I'm also hearing it from her. <laughs> you know, and, and when that's all that takes, all that comes into play, it pushes a man outside that household to where he's right. looking to where, like, man, what am I going to do? So when we sit up here, we, on, we look at these uh, other young men out here on these streets and they're trying to do different things. You know, when I talk, when the first thing come out of their mouth, man, I got I to gotta feed my kids, man. And, you know, it's, it's like that's where that uh, destruction come in. So we, me and Phil Hogan, we have been through it and we have fought through many things to try to uh, maintain a fatherly a relationship with our kids and everything, which we are which we still do. Just because they took us out the home don't mean we still ain't in our kids' lives. But uh, we, we still try to, try to you know, educate the younger men, young, uh, the future and everything mm -hmm. to, hey, we're going to try to get some help because I, I know where you've been. Mm -hmm. I know where you're going and stuff. So, um, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> Phil, when you think in terms of child support in Tennessee, what would you consider to be the most destructive thing that the state of Tennessee is doing in order to either uh, help you or prevent you from uh, really supporting your children? I mean, the first thing they're doing, they, not, they need to let the dads or father be a father. The state cannot raise or come in a household and raise them to keep, raise kids. And that's what they're doing. They make sure the father's not there by leading the mother wrong. Make sure the father not there. So there you go. You got a, a son and daughter just being raised by the system. And we already know that's going to lead to a, a broken cycle. So we are here now trying to bring that cycle to, to fix the broken cycle, you know, to get this right, bring the fathers back in the home, take care of the kids, take care of their families. It's just a man up process, you know, we, we need help with it. And, 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 and so if, if, if the state is paying that household child support, mm -hmm. the father cannot be in the household. Is that what we're saying? Yes, that's right. And, 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 and so which means that I think as you were indicating, Mr. Watkins, that that sort of pushes you out into the street. Yeah, it, you see, in order for her to receive. You know, a man's going to try to figure out some way to not only did you push that man outside that household, but he also got to go find a house to where he got to stay now. Right. So that's another bill. That's another situation where he got to like, okay, he got to go and try to wind up in a, a shelter. You wind up in a hotel. You wind up in a friend house. You, you bouncing around, bouncing around in different places, trying to live and trying to uh, provide and stuff. It, it takes away yourself a uh, uh, Yourself, uh, self esteem, self -esteem. Nah, yeah. spiral. Yeah. and then mm -hmm. that's, that's what we call destruction. Yeah. So it's, it's when, when, when you know, it, it does a lot of good, but then also it does a lot of harm too. Mm -hmm. Because when you take a, take that man out of that household, then you got these these uh, young boys running around here, and then you telling me I can't I can't I can't discipline my child. Mm -hmm. Then you go to school, you, you get in trouble, you can get secret indictments out on you because of uh, you discipline your child because your child said it. Well, the man in the household doing something wrong, so let's get him out of here. Mm -hmm. No, not every mm -hmm. man is doing something, something destructive to tear his child down. So yeah. there is, a, over the last 22 seconds we have in this segment, mm -hmm. there is no father in a household where there is child support. Right. 
Right. right. Okay. And the ones there, the uh -huh. state still want their money too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it. That creates a real problem. <laughs> and right. of course, what we'll do, we'll take this second commercial break and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. Whatever you want to say in reference to it, because, I mean, a lot of folks don't seem to understand this. I mean, when we say that uh, he has to pay child support, we only think in terms of uh, whatever that child money, support yeah. that comes in. in child. But the state takes that money. Yeah. If you got a job, well, the good. state takes... <laughs> Hey, your child, money child before the, you you get your your money. Yeah, child support is, is just it's not just um, taking money from you. Child support is meant being in that child's life. Thank you and, and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Hawkins and uh, Mr. Watkins in reference to child support in the state of Tennessee. And let's see, uh, uh, Phil, if we can pick up uh, with you this morning okay. and to have you to uh, talk to our audience this morning about some of the issues that you have to face if you have to pay child support and how long that child support can be and et cetera. And then you say as much as you wish to about it over the next 10 minutes. And then uh, Mr. Watkins will in us for the day with some of his observations in reference to it. Let's do it from that perspective. Right now, child support, currently you got to pay child support as long as that child is attending high school or, or they go to college, you still got to pay child support. And which in terms of that, it, it hurts the father, it hurts the whole family. We're trying to keep families together. We keep unity in the family, the mom and dad not arguing, everybody having, you know, getting along. The kids can be more productive going to school. They're not listening to argument all night. You know, the dad and mom having they, everything going all right. But with this child support, how it is now, it's just too much chaos in the home. The father not making the money he's supposed to make. He better can take care of himself. Then the state taking half his check. So he coming home with a half a check to take care of this family of three and four. So that leads him to a broken cycle of despair. I mean, you know, alcoholism, drug addiction, all that, you know, comes in a part of it because the man you get to the matter. What can I do? You know, I'm just out here, you know. We're just trying to change a lot of that. We're like, we got a program now. now. We're trying to do it 90 days. Mm -hmm. Get each father 90 days. Mm -hmm. No child support. 90 days to get their self together. Get a job, get yourself together, stand up. And it, then you, the child support can start taking something out. You know, work out a little modification program mm -hmm. with the father, which you can still get a mother $100 a month. Mm -hmm. But that's a whole lot better than taking a man, have a man check. Mm -hmm. You know, it's giving a man some kind of hope mm -hmm. that he can be productive, he can go home, he can buy his kids uh, a decent pair of shoes you know, diapers or whatnot. But right now, how they got it, we just, we just losing battle. You know, yeah. we have to reform this. And, 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 and so, Mr. Watkins, there are a large number of uh, men, not only African-American men, but specifically we're concerned about African-American men in, today in reference to what we're talking about here. But there are a large number of African-American men that get caught up in this system of child support. If they get a job, you're telling us, then the, uh, whatever that pay is, the state intervenes and takes part of that money mm -hmm. before he could get the Is that what we're saying here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Talk about yes. that. Um, it, it, you know, when, when a man um, you know, goes to court, um, I've been to court situations where a judge actually told me, I'm living in the household with my kids, the mother and everything, and asked me if I ch pay a child support, and I said, yeah. I'm thinking they're going to say, okay, you in the household, so mm -hmm. we're going to stop it. He asked. He asked the mother, was, was he helping? Mm -hmm. He told me, yeah. Turn around, the judge told me, keep paying. You know, that, that's just one of the situations. Uh, another situation is when um, just uh, um, a woman can call, a man can get out of jail. After he's done his 81 days, 82 days, he can get out of jail, and they'll give him a review date to go back to court. And in that review date, that woman has a, the, uh, the ability to call the, the judge and say, I want, I want to speed up the process. So mm -hmm. if that man doesn't have a job within that time uh, uh, the judge has allowed, well, guess what? He's going off back to jail. And, so, and, and, and so uh, child support in a real sense has the ability to land folks almost immediately in jail <laughs> oh, yes, and then take half of the a paycheck. And, 
And on top of that, not only that you, you go to jail, but you also still pay a child support. Yeah, you're trying to sit now. Mm -hmm. Still accumulating. So it's 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 not it's a it's a it's a law they say. And uh there's nothing it doesn't stop. It it just does not stop. Just because you sitting up there doing ninety days, six eighty months. days, six months, eight months, it doesn't matter. You're still gonna keep paying, you still gonna keep paying in one way or the other, while you sitting there in jail doing nothing, or you sit out here in the streets doing nothing, they still gonna want that money. Mm -hmm. That estate that done away with the father. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's going on with the kids at home then? Mm -hmm. You know, the father not here. What's going on with the kids? Mm -hmm. The son growing up, he watching a neighborhood drug dealer. The daughter growing up watching her brother with the money. She want a, she want a boyfriend with the money now. So mm -hmm. go down a broken cycle. Mm -hmm. Here she goes, she's in the projects. She's pregnant with a couple of kids. The cycle continues. We have to reform this child support. But like you said, the, the black man, we in trouble. Yeah. We won't have a second generation. Mm -hmm. How things going now? We got too much going against us as it is. You know, we're trying to stand up and man, we we going out here every day, we feeding the homeless. I mean, we buy our own personal money, you know, socks, t-shirts, take to the homeless camps. Mm -hmm. uh, we feed them hot dogs, hamburgers, you know. We go to the inner city, take over the kids, reading books at schools. We doing all this to show these kids that, you know, they look forward to seeing us. We got a, a junior firebird football program coming up out of uh, Pearl High School. We're those guys every day, the little fellas. We teaching them along the way. You know how to man up, how to be young men. You know by reading skills and math skills. So it is things that men can do out here that we are positive. Mm -hmm. You know instead of keep getting a bad rap for all this violence, now nah, we it's, it's good men out here, and we just want to be known. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, and then another thing about it, the state does also use the uh, child support system, and to, they make it seem like it's benefit the woman, but they also. What, what it's also doing is, is manipulating her to get that man out the house because, mm -hmm. because they'll tell the well, woman, okay, well, if he's not, well, we're going to make him pay or we're going to send him to jail. Mm -hmm. And by the time the woman's got fed up with so much stuff, mm -hmm. you know, her mind is going in a whirlwind mm -hmm. and she's looking at, oh, what am I doing, what am I doing? So when the argument started inside that household, when that fighting started, started in the household, mm -hmm. then that man is pushed out that household and, and if he starts a, uh, Getting on his feet, trying to do better. That woman gonna want a piece of it right now, mm -hmm. and say, "Well, he got. We need to go get it right now." Mm -hmm. So you, you got to give a person a chance enough to say, "Hey, okay, you got to let a man be a man and let him in his household and work it out." Mm -hmm. Because you keep pushing him outside that household, you just continue destroying that house. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when you do that, then that's when you're gonna see a whole lot of jail system filled up. I, mm -hmm. I look at this, you know, I think they building up another jail right now. Modern day slavery. <laughs> well, know? look here, is, is there any effort, and I think that you've already mentioned that there's an effort on your part to deal with uh, the state legislature yes, to sir. pass a law and et cetera. What would such a law be like? And, We're looking and, and for what would, would such a law say? There'll be a 90 day program. In this 90 days, a man can man up, get a job, get himself together, get housing, get adequate clothes to go get a proper, you know, a job, a better job if, if need be. Where he can reach a child support level or balance out. Okay, within this process, each month he would get a mom in return $100. Mm -hmm. You know, he's trying to get himself back up, just redeem himself, you know. That's what we gotta do. We have to have that 90 days before. They got a bill out now that's saying, when you go to the custodial parent and y'all can make an agreement to pay your child support on time for a year and they'll waive all your back pay. Mm -hmm. But these men need some immediate. You know, what if they don't have adequate shoes to go to an interview? Give them a chance to get on their feet where they can be productive citizens and then go into it. A person who might be arrested, uh, Ms. Watkins, we're saying, for not paying child support, that he serves his time and as soon as he's out of jail, he's been in jail for whatever that time might be, and as soon as he's out of jail, he has to immediately start paying child support. That's right. Is that what so we're saying? Yes. So and that's why you feel that there ought to be some kind of reform reform within yeah. the system. Help us out. We got to well, give us a uh, give us a time frame, you know, 90 days. We can get out, get on our feet, get a nice, decent job, get adequate clothing, you know, to be productive. You just coming out of jail. You behind, mm -hmm. you know, everybody needs assistance. Sometimes there's a lot of men who didn't choose the right path, but a lot of men who have. Mm -hmm. You have men in the household that's all working, that's all taking care of their kids, and they still is in the child support system. You know, so it's, it's, not, it's a no-win situation for us. So it's a real problem when a, a problem. mother decides that she's going to have